I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that with enough creativity, your home can become exactly what you need it to be. Life is ever-changing, and sometimes our homes need to change along with it. Simple projects and a little ingenuity can have a big impact. Let's see what our homes can become. We haven't been able to get to the gym lately, so this week my basement storage space is gonna become a home gym. No more excuses not to work out. We have a bunch of kind of random workout equipment, but it's spread throughout the entire house. I'm gonna gather it all together into one space, mix in some creative DIYs, and I am determined to whip this space into shape. See what I did there. Now, gyms don't have to be pretty, but I am sure there's a study out there somewhere that says you'll burn more calories if it is. <laughs> All joking aside, having a space that you enjoy being in will increase your motivation and increase the likelihood that you spend time in there working out. So what I'm gonna do here, I have a leftover gallon of paint. I never use this from another project. It's a really pretty blue color and I'm just gonna paint one accent wall. It's just gonna give a little bit of pop to the space and be the perfect backdrop for everything else I have coming in here. This wall has kind of a curve to it, but I want my accent wall to end here. So I'm using some painter's tape and just creating a nice crisp line and sort of deciding where the wall ends. If you don't want to buy new paint, you could check your basement or garage for any leftover paint from past projects. I realize I have so many half-full cans and tons of colors. I'm grouping the projects for this home gym transformation into three zones. Floor zone for stretching abs and yoga, strength zone for lifting and well, all things related to getting strong, and equipment zone which will corral and organize all of our workout gear. Each zone will be made up of a few different projects. Think of it like DIY circuit training. So let's start with a warm up. Time to shop the house. We're all prepped for the floor zone. I have a couple DIY projects I'm gonna walk you through that I think are gonna really enhance this area. The first thing we're gonna make are PVC parallettes. Basically like, you know, like the push-up type bar things and you can do little dips with them. None of that looked push-up-y, did it? But you get the idea. <laughs> I've pre-cut all of my PVC and now it's just gonna be simple assembly. I'm gonna start with my longer piece. This is gonna be what your hands are holding. And I'm gonna add an elbow joint onto both ends. And then we're going to add our medium pieces. So our medium pieces go in next. Next, we're gonna go with our T. That's gonna give us stability at the base. And then my small pieces will continue my legs. And then I'm just gonna put a cap on each end. Okay, now you finally understand what I was making. How many of you out there were like, what the heck is she making? What is a PVC parallette? See, I'm gonna have two of them. I hold them parallel, I dip. Getting it, I do. Okay, I'm just gonna build another one. Now, another project that I came up with is a really simple DIY. We're gonna be using a one by three board that I had in my garage and creating a sit-up foot holder. I don't think that's a technical name, but here's the thing. You know when you're doing sit-ups and you're by yourself, you always need someone to hold your feet or I like drag a weight over and put it on my feet. So I came up with an idea to basically use an L bracket and a couple one by threes to actually make a sit up foot holder so that I can tuck my feet under it and then just all day with the sit ups. I want this sit up foot holder to be super strong and secure. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm attaching it into two studs, which would mean 16 inches apart. I actually want two pieces at 18 inches because I'm gonna double it up and make it extra thick. To do this, I'm just gonna add some wood glue and a couple finishing nails to attach it. And then really my screws will grab in for both. So it's gonna be extra strong. I cut these at 18 inches, studs are 16 inches apart. So I'm gonna put my brackets one inch from each end. And that's all there is to assembling our sit-ups foot holder. Now I am gonna install this onto this wall into two studs. 
I have some other things to pull together in this stone. We're gonna add some comfortable foam floor squares. We're gonna add some mirrors. All right, mirrors in a home gym are a must. They not only help with your form, but if you think about it, if you're working out at home, you are your own coach. So you can like talk to yourself in the mirror. You got this. 10 more, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're getting jacked. You gotta put in the work. Are you ready? You gotta grind it out. <laughs> Grind it out. I'm swapping out the existing lighting with something a bit more industrial looking. It's a really easy fix and will look great in this home gym. This zone is all about strength. This project we're gonna do is build a wall of stall bars. Now, if you're a gym rat, you know that stall bars kind of are like a big old ladder that you can do a ton of different exercises on. Generally speaking, they're wood, but I'm gonna make mine out of galvanized pipe for a couple reasons. One, I already had a lot of leftover flanges and various pieces, so I didn't need to buy a whole lot. And also, it's just really, really strong. So I have my 90 degree elbow, and this is threaded like the pipe. So unlike PVC, where we just pop it together, for this, I'm actually threading it on. So I'm gonna put an elbow on each end. Next, I have two threaded shorter pieces. Those are gonna go into each 90. Last piece that has to go on is a wall flange. I need to assemble four more of these and then I'm gonna attach them into the studs in the wall. One really important thing to mention is that these need to go into studs. They're heavy on their own, but also add the weight of exercising to it. It's really important and you wanna use a very heavy lag bolt to do it. This is maybe one of the most quintessential Monica projects. I completely made this one up in my head, but I think it's gonna work. When I was going through the house, I found a bunch of these like, I don't know, rubber workout bands. I have some with handles and I found some that are just like, you know, just the rubber material. And I was thinking that at the gym, they have a lot of things that you can like hook them into. So I'm gonna create that using a very random assortment of materials. I have a couple outdoor handles. If I put those on the wall here and I attached a leftover carabiner that I have onto it, totally would work. But then I realized I don't have studs here and I want them to be in the middle. I recently made a growth chart with my kids as one of our kid activity projects and we had some extra wood that I had let them stain and I cut it to size here so I can attach into my studs that I have on the left and the right and then put my handle right here. I mean, if this doesn't say home gym, I don't know what does. <laughs> Step one, attach my growth chart pieces into studs. Now that I'm into my studs, I'm just gonna center this right here, roughly in the middle, and attach it into the wood. All right, that's super sturdy. Now here's what I'm thinking. My rubber bands easily drop right behind. I can do all my, all my little workout moves, but anyone that has handles, pop it on my carabiner, not too shabby for some incredibly random leftover household items. I'm gonna put one more below it, but I would say that this creative DIY was a success. If you thought I was done with galvanized pipe projects, you'd be wrong. I realized that it would work great for a pull-up bar as well, so I made one more, basically the same build as a stall bar, and attach it directly into the joist. The nice part of this being an unfinished basement storage room is that I have access to really strong wood. This zone is all about organization of the equipment. So when I went and kind of shopped my house as part of our warm up, there are a couple things that I found that I know I can use. This cube unit is gonna do a couple things. It's gonna help corral all the smaller little items that I found throughout the house. And it also is going to hide these water lines. But then above it, I pre-spray painted some of these slat wall systems. This past year, we did a garage overhaul. Hopefully you guys checked out that video. And I had a few pieces of the slat wall system left over. I love how easy it is to organize things with these and they have so many different attachments that they'll work great in a home gym. 
I measured three different lines on the walls. This one here is the center mark of the wall, and then I also marked the center on each piece so that I know it'll be nice and evenly spaced. Then I also marked my stud on the left and my stud on the right. For the next one, I am just gonna rest it right on top. So as long as my ends are flush, which they are, I don't even have to re-level. What I really love about this slat wall system are all the accessories that it has. So they have all different types of hooks and baskets, and usually these things would be used for rakes or shovels or outdoor sports equipment, but I think that's gonna work really well for the indoor gym. The final thing that I need to build is actually gonna be some wall storage for the weights that we have. I wanna get them up and off the ground. I don't really have like a whole weight rack that I would at the gym. So I got the idea from our slat wall and I'm going to use more galvanized pipe and basically have it into studs coming off the wall that I can slide my weights right onto. I got two different lengths. I got shorter six inch lengths for some of my five pound weights. For my bigger ones, I got eight inch ones. And I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way up. That is so much better than having weights just all around the floor. It is such a simple, easy organization solution. I think this is really gonna help. Now I just gotta carry in a few more of those heavy weights. <laughs> One heck of a DIY workout, but I am so pumped with the results. Exercise is so important to our overall well being, and I'm so glad that I was able to transform this space into something that works for our family at home. I hope our basement transformation inspires you to think differently about what your home can become. And I am still looking for your feedback. So many of you have written in and said you need help with spaces for your kids to do homework and schoolwork. Some of you are looking for inspiration for your outdoor spaces. I'm seriously reading your comments and using the feedback to help plan future episodes. So be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks friends.